back to another episode of WineMastery.co.uk. My name is John Whitefoot, this is... John Murphy. I didn't do that in part one, did I? You did, ah, eh? Ah. Got your in there. <laughs> We're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines you will absolutely love. And this is our Christmas edition. It is. Sadly without our hats, because I forgot them. Sorry. Well, we say sadly. Sadly, <laughs> I'm sad, because it's cold without much... Uh... Anyway, <laughs> in part... <laughs> In part one, we saw a wine that you could absolutely enjoy, devour with a, a turkey. Mm -hmm. um, and so in part two, we're going for something that's uh, maybe if someone's got a little bit heavier, maybe goose or maybe a little bit heavier, maybe even beef. Yeah, yeah. So what have we got? Well, part two, we've gone for, obviously we're, tra we're trying to do a, a, a white and a red. So for your red, we've gone for something that's just, uh, just a little bit different. Um, but something that should suit everything. Um, well, let me give you a glass up. Thank you, sir. Now, this is actually, it's, um, it's a Beaujolais. This is the Cherubles. The what? Cherubles. Oh, I'd better look at that, because I would never be able to spell that. Yeah, <laughs> it's just there. Uh, so, as we know, like, um, I think we did an episode on Beaujolais, it would be a while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago, yeah. Yeah, and because there were so many different Beaujolais to go out, because it's unusual, because Beaujolais basically is, is the area, and the, the grape from the Beaujolais is the Gamay grape. Um, but as we found when we did the tasting a while back, or the video a while back, um, they can vary so much, there's so many different styles. And if I remember rightly, we enjoyed the Morgan, the Morgan so, was because yeah. that was one of the heavier ones. Um, but what I've gone for uh, and is something which does, it kind of ticks a lot of boxes really, because we were talking about something that is going to suit everybody. Uh, and this one, I think, will tick that box. I mean, this this is known as like, the the prettiest the prettiest place in Bosnia, and also the prettiest wine. Really, the yes. actual village is known as the prettiest. Yeah, yeah, place, yeah. yeah. Uh, of all the Bosnia crews. Okay. So I thought let's give it a go and see what happens. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, first of all, looking, it does look quite light. It's 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 kind of a nice ruby colour, but it's mm. quite light. It is. Um, so I, I mean, that, I, usually when that happens, you think you know there might not be a lot of bite in there. So let's let's give it a. Give it a go. Oh, it's starting to melt. There's actually quite a lot going on in yeah. there, isn't there? Berry fruit. Yeah, de definitely. I'd probably say raspberry and also cherry. It's mm -hmm. Cherryish. Lots of cherry in there. No more chilli. No more chilli. No more. I think I think I'm <laughs> Not Marcello. Marcello. Has anybody had a Marcello? Has anybody tried a Marcello grape? Delicious. <laughs> Based on this smell, it would be if it was. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you Morello a cherry, but okay. I'm not sure about Marcello. Yeah. I, I thought was it was a, a TV detective. I thought it was a car. <laughs> right. Anyway, hold on, let me. Right. So. Compose yourself, John. Compose. So good. So yeah, it's, and actually, just coming back. <coughs> this is the brilliant thing with wine because it, it, you pick things at different times and just from doing that and having a little sip back I got like a, a, a whiff of a dark chocolate Did you? More like a dark chocolate, yeah Just caught me, just caught me off guard But It was nice So now well, let's, let's give it a taste Let's give it a taste Mmm mm, Well there's a lot of red berry and that, that cherry really comes through quite strong there, right? But it's, very, it's, it's very light, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, it's, it's full of taste somehow. I don't know quite how they've managed that, but full of taste but very, very light. I can certainly imagine it, if you, if, with, even with mm. turkey, with you know, cranberry but, sauce and... Oh know. yeah, definitely. I mean, <coughs> it's, that's not going to... Oh, it's, it's, it's a strange one, isn't it? Because it, although it has a lot of flavour, it's not overpowering. Yeah. It's almost like perfume. It? It, I would say, like like you said, with the um, with the cranberry and things, that would just work. That would just work perfectly. Um, the, the fruitiness uh, together, and that would not overpower you taking. It. But it also does have these. Um, these there are some tannins in there, fairly light, but the tannins are there. That is definitely what you describe as well balanced, definitely. Mm. But 
So in some households where they have two meats, turkey and maybe red meat, mm. and they, I guess it's with with as I think they mentioned in the intro there, the uh, sort of guinea fowl or something like that that people yeah. use. Yeah, that would that would happily take on an, uh, a multitude of meats, which you call it. No, that would that would be a happily uh, match because the tannins would work very well with that. Very nice. Indeed. It's that is quite an impressive. Um, it's quite an impressive Beaujolais, is that one? Yes. Mm, I was. Um, I, I, well, I didn't know exactly what to expect from that. We must. We must uh, try actually at some point. Um, we're going to at some point get around to seeing Frederick because he has the vineyarding uh, with, with Beaujolais and he has white Beaujolais wine. Oh yes, yes. And, and Langham's uh, restaurant in London, they actually uh, their house white is Beaujolais white. I'd like to try that. Would you? I really would like to try. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Oh, did he just do that face again? Well, we must uh, I'll touch base with Frederick and see if we can organise that, uh, okay. that tasting. Because we couldn't make it last time because of your car accident. Mm. Yes. So, anyway, enough of our internal chat. Oh, but now we get to price. Price, price. Oh! You price. know this is my fate, yeah. So, Beaujolais. Yeah. French. Yeah. Which is expensive. Not massively. No? no. Okay, guys, that's probably too big a clue for me. <laughs> it's not, no. I, I, if you say not massively, I'm going with that now rather than. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to go. The, the, the figure that comes to my head is $18.99. Again, you're not far off. You're not far. Uh, $15.99. Oh, okay. Which, again, I mean. It's not, that's not mega money at all, is it? It's not um, oh, massive, but it's not... Speak for yourself! <laughs> it's, more than what, uh, it's more than what you would spend on your, I don't know, your usual Monday night wine. Um, I would imagine, well, I don't know, but 15.99, I don't think it's too crazy. No, it's very Especially classy that's gonna, Yeah, uh, that's a good way to describe it. Very classy. Classy. Class, cl are you mocking my Yorkshire accent there? Cl classy. Class, did classy. Did you say cl classy? <laughs> so just because you're really classy, more classy than I can. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm very impressed. An very another, impressed. another good one? Yes, excellent. Well done, John. You're doing very well at the moment. So far, so good. So far, so good. Mm. It's just this, this dust. So, we're finished, we're finished with lunch. Now we're going to look for something after lunch, yes? Yes. After a Christmas dinner. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, so should we get to that? Let's do it. Okay, we'll see you in part three. See you there, Jin Jin. Jin Jin.